Here's another look at this, a second chance. Take a look at these four table create statements. We've got our first one, a unique primary index. The distribution is going to be perfect every single time. Our second example here is going to have a non-unique primary index. We've chosen this because the users are querying on that column the most or we're joining it to other tables based on that column. We'll learn more about that a little bit later. But the data is not going to be distributed evenly. Hopefully, it'll be relatively evenly. But that's what we're going to have each and every time. Now, we can also have a multi-column primary index. This is going to give us better distribution than just a single key that isn't maybe that unique. But we've got to use both first name and last name, both columns of the multi-column index, and you can have up to 64 of those babies. And if you've got your two, you use two in the where and and clause, you're all set. And lastly, we've got, what's it called? A no PI table, no primary index, because we want perfect distribution, because we're using it as a staging table, or we're going to try that new columnar design, which we'll learn about later. Can you have null values in your primary index? Unfortunately, you can. In this case, we've got a primary index of last name, and notice all of the last name values that were null went to the same AMP. This can really cause what's called a hot AMP. There's a lot more rows on this AMP than in the other AMPs. Let's look at a full table scan. A full table scan is only as fast as the slowest AMP. So you really have to be careful when you're picking the primary index if it has a bunch of nulls. Ooh, question for you. Could I have a unique primary index with a null value in it? One of them. What is a tactical query? A tactical query is a query that you can count on coming back in about one, two seconds max. So if you've got a call center and they have to look things up, they can count on one, two seconds and the information comes screaming back. Here is an example of a tactical query. There's four great tactical queries and I'll explain those as we go along. You're going to see two of them right now. When you use the primary index in the WHERE clause, especially a unique primary index, one second, one row, every time. This is another tactical query, a non-unique primary index in the WHERE clause. It might bring back more than one row, but it is going to be about one second and a few rows every single time. Teradata doesn't mind if you have a multi-column primary index, and if you use both the first name and the last name in your WHERE and AND clause, it's going to be one second and a few rows may come back. You can count on that, so do not hesitate to do this if you need good distribution. Unless you're creating a staging table to load data, or you're using a columnar design, there's not really a good reason that you should be using a no primary index table, especially if you're going to query it a bunch. I'll show you a few techniques later about how to get around this. But understand, a no PI gives you great distribution, but generally, you're going to get a full table scan coming back every time, and that's the last thing you're going to need in a querying environment. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza, Teradata, or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With Teratom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned.